Where are these street kids coming from? Where are their parents? Education Monday. Education Monday on the Tribal Root Studio with Alina Zahil. Changing mindsets in Africa, making a world better. Together, we can make a difference. We are fixing Africa. Education Monday. Education Monday. Brethren, the African child, you are welcome once again to the Tribal Root Studio for the Education Monday edition. My name is Alina Zahir and I'm speaking right from the mountains of the Moon Foothills in western Uganda, Bosheni district, a small township called Ishaka, inside the Tribal Roots Studio. And today we are going to speak about street kids. What do you know about street kids in Africa? I guess if you're African and you've been to Africa, you have seen kids moving on the streets, stretching their arms and asking for some coins, uh, standing on the roadsides, and probably trying to snatch something from you. So street kids is a menace, it's a very big problem in Africa. Every big town you go to, you will find people we call street children. When night falls, these people sleep on the streets, you'll find them sleeping in some old boxes they're trying to make some shelter for themselves uh, on the verandas of, of the buildings. When you go to the rubbish uh, pits, you'll find these kids moving around the rubbish uh, places, uh, the, the rubbish pits, trying to pick something that can be edible or trying to pick some bottles or trying to, to pick some scrap material. When you look at these street kids, you know, you, you know that there is a problem really. The way they look, how they are dressed and how hungry they look is not good. But today, what I really want to make you aware of is that we are the ones who are creating these street kids because we have lost the value, we have lost the fabric of our very culture, which doesn't allow our communities to let our children wander in the streets or leave their communities and homes. So the question I am posing as I explain uh, this really, really problem is where were the street kids in the olden days? How comes in the 60s we didn't have so many street kids on the streets? Where are these street kids coming from? What have we thought to do as a society that has encouraged, created this street kid problem? Where are their parents? What kind of irresponsibility level have we reached at to have us throwing our kids in the streets? So this explains the damage that has happened uh, on us as individuals, uh, as families, as communities and the things we have failed to do that have led to the creation of this problem and we shouldn't uh, we, we shouldn't think this is something that we can shy away from or we can look away because it is going to develop into something more dangerous when we have people being raised by the streets raised by you know no 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 parents so in the ancient and every time i say in the ancient i am trying to remind you that we had order and we have lost this order and our goal is to make sure we can restore this order for restoring the order means we can really fix our problems in africa every child belonged to a family where there was a man and woman every child belonged to a clan which was the bigger family. Every child had relatives from both parents. And then finally, every child belonged to a village. And the many villages belonged to the bigger community. 
So the problem we are having right now, having street kids, very many street kids existing in different parts of the countries, is because we have lost the moral fabric that should keep families together, the communities together, villages together, and our very own famous proverb that says, it takes a village to raise a child. So there is no way you will find a child on the streets when the village is alive. Finding children on the streets shows you that the villages don't exist anymore. We don't have that love anymore. We, we don't have that sense anymore. That tells you that every child in your neighborhood is yours. You don't find them in trouble or you don't find them doing something that will destroy their lives and you look away or you, you walk past. So the street children we see in the streets, we have created them because back from home we have, we have damaged and destroyed our families. We are doing things not the way that was expected in the, in the ancient. And even though we are calling it modernization, we, we, are, we are being shameless to say we are modernized when we are destroying everything that wasn't destroyed in the past. So, the street kids we have on our streets of our countries need to be taken back to belong to their bigger communities, bigger villages, bigger families, by all members of those families to make sure that everyone, everyone that, that wakes up and, and needs to have kids, make sure those kids belong to their clans, make sure your kids belong to their greater families, make sure your kids know their relatives, make sure your kids know their parents, and make sure the kids are taught on their roles in the society so they will not have to end up on the streets. So it is in this day when we see a lot of humanitarian organizations, very many humanitarian organizations will come to Africa and say, we are here to fix Africa and we want to take care of these underprivileged poor kids, we want to take care of these hungry kids, we want to take care of these naked kids, we want to provide them with clothes, we want to provide them with food. In real sense, in all truth, Africa is able to provide these things for the underprivileged. There are very many Africans who throw food away every day. There are very many Africans who have enough at their disposal that they don't even know where to take it. But there is no organization. There is no organization at the village level, at the community level to make sure you don't throw food away when other people are starving. So you have people coming from overseas to clothe the children to feed your hungry children. It should be a shame for all of us who live in Africa and then we allow to stoop so low having our kids on the streets and having foreigners come to take care of them. And as I always say, everything comes with a price. If they are coming to feed your kids, they may also have the right to lecture you on what to do, how to do, and how to live. And I don't think you want to go there. From the Tribal Root Studio, we wish that everyone that watches this does something about their society to make sure we can uh, take charge of the street kid problem. We can feed every child if we organize. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for being with us. Please remember to subscribe. You can share this video for everyone else to get this good message from the Education Monday. My name is Alena Zahil. And I wish you blessings and peace.